Five community members in Sonoma County are searching for accountability, having met with the Board of Supervisors today. They watched a dog viciously attack and kill a horse, both animals owned by the same person. Neighbors want answers from the owner and Sonoma County Animal Services. KTVU's Tom Vakar reports. This is the worst thing I have ever seen. I called and called and called and will control. And now the other horses, this makes three. Not two, but three, laying blatantly for everybody to see. We feel let down and betrayed by animal control. Tuesday afternoon, Sonoma County horse advocates lined up to tell the Board of Supervisors loud and clear, get your animal services and control department under control and properly staffed. Animals are suffering and dying because the slots are not filled. Horsewoman, rescuer, and former police officer Betsy Bueno wants to reform and rehabilitate the county's animal services department, especially to increase field staff and to upgrade criminal enforcement of animal neglect and abuse cases. In a recent case, she said she witnessed horror for almost an hour as a German shepherd slowly killed a horse. The dog um, had knocked the horse to the ground and was on top of the horse, um, basically ripping it apart. It took almost an hour, too late, for animal services to arrive. The dog, the horse on the property belonged to one person, and he had been warned numerous, numerous times that something bad was going to happen. And if it did, he would be held responsible. Miss Bueno tells us that there are two dead horses that were badly abused underneath that dirt pile over there. Their carcasses simply covered up once they died. Bueno says that though the department has positions and funding for 10 animal control officers, it has only three. If you call, they're supposed to respond just like a police officer. Ms. Bueno says another time she saw another horse laying and apparently dying unattended in the same meadow. So she confronted the man who claims to control the property. Bueno says her vet confirmed that the horse had miscarried, got a massive infection, had a 105 degree temperature and had to be euthanized as was the dog. The owner would not talk to us and we have yet to hear from Animal Control. Tom Baker, KTVU Fox 2 News.